Hello IT Pros, welcome back to my IT Workshop. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your BIOS uh, using a USB. So in a previous video uh, we have done this using the direct... Uh, we upgraded the, the BIOS version from the motherboard itself. So for that, for this end I have this app called CPU-Z which you can download it for free. I'm going, to leave, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. So it's an interesting application where you can see um, a lot of information about your, your computer. You can see the CPU. In this case, I have an Intel i5, uh, the model. I can see the, the speed at which it works. If I go to main board, I can see that I have an Asus. Uh, the model is b 150 ma M.2. Well, the M.2 means that I can use that kind of hard drive, well, SSD. Then I can see the, the graphics as well. So as you can see, I have a, a lot of uh, information that uh, if you don't know what, oh, if you bought the computer or somebody built it for you and you don't know what components it has, you can download this, uh, this application and you can see uh, a lot of details about, uh, about your computer. So for this video, uh, we are going to need a, a USB as well. I have one of two gigabytes. If you have more, it's okay, but at least two gigabytes is going to be one. So in order to download the, the latest BIOS for the motherboard, you, we, let's go to asus.com. We go to support, customer, then motherboard. And to the left, we go to download. Uh, download down, download center. Then we type our motherboard model. I'm going to, uh, to bring up this CPU Z. I'm going to exactly copy the model that I have here. So I'm going to select it because I have the option. And now I'm going to go to driver drivers and tools. Then from this menu I'm going to choose BIOS and firmware. Um, here I have this, but click on all the downloads. So as you can see, I, uh, we have many. Guys, do not download the, the, the first one because that's another application. So you have to download the ones after that. You have to read, um, as you can see here, I have the, this version, 2003. And if I go down, you can see that this, here is where the version, the version I currently have, which is from two years ago, 2016. So it's very old. So we are now in 2018, almost 2019. And here is what you have to do. You have to check that the download, well, the, the firmware, the download you want to, for your motherboard has the, the latest, but it's not the first one. In this case, it's the second one, the latest that we're going to download. So you click on download. I already have it, but I'm just showing to you. So again, make sure that you download the correct one. So as you can see here, the first one is not an update, it's not a firmware upgrade or update. So in this case, I'm going to download the second one. So I have it here and I'm going, it's a, it's a zip file. So I'm going to extract it. And yeah, in the desktop is okay. So as you can see here, I already have the, the file which is a that cap or CAP extension. And the only thing I have to do now is um, uh, copy to my USB. Now, one thing, uh, in order to this to, to work, you have to, um, you have to format your USB using either FAT16 or, or FAT32. If you have it for, uh, if you format it with NTFS, it's not going to work because MTFS only works for Windows. And in this case, since we're going to do this uh, on the motherboard, uh, the motherboard doesn't use MTFS. It uses um, FAT16 or 32. Now that we have um, formatted with FAT32, I'm going just to drag and drop the file that we just downloaded, which is the update for the BIOS for my motherboard. So I'm going to close everything. I don't need this anymore. I have it. And the next step is to, is to restart the computer. 
and then we can continue with the with the process so i go to shut down and restart now i am on my cell phone and i'm going to restart it so as you can see it's closing everything and i'm going to go to my other screen which is where it's going to be loading uh, we see the we're going to see the asus uh, logo and i start clicking f2 or dell for for asus to get access to the bios uh, or uefi bios well, one thing to remember i normally use a wireless keyboard however if you use a wireless keyboard and you try to access the bios it's not going to work because um, since it since it is using uh, bluetooth uh, it waits for windows to start up so i advise you to have a a keyboard with a USB connector directly to the computer, a physical connection. So as you can see here, we have the B150M AM2. The BIOS version is 2003. All the specifications are the same. And now uh, the USB is connected. So I go to advanced mode. Then I'm going to go to tool. From there, I'm going to choose Asus Easy Flash 3 Utility. I click on it. And then I have two options from the storage device or via internet. Uh, via internet, we have done it already in a previous video with another Asus. It's a different model, but it's almost the same process. So I click next for the storage device. And as you can see, this is all my drives. And I'm going to go to the last one because that's my, my USB. How do I know? Because of the size, almost two gigs. Well, it's two gigs. And here, uh, as you can see, I have uh, the only file I have available is the CAP extension which is the update for the version 3806 if you just copy the zip file to the to the flash and you you connect it to your and you restart it with your usb connected it's not going to show anything it's going to show you blank or or if you put it in ntfs it's going to be blank as well so keep that in mind and make sure that you have unzip you have extracted the the zip file and then you can choose it then we can click enter or just double click on it. And do you want to read this file? Yes. Do you really want to update your BIOS? This is the information. And well, this is why we came for. Um, so I'm just going to click yes. So this process is going to take a few minutes. I'm going, I'm going to, um, to speed up the video. So we don't have you don't have to wait for for the whole process this process took around um, one minute more or less um, around one minute uh, one, perhaps one minute 15 seconds or, or something like that so it, it's pretty quick you don't have to wait um, much time for it so as you can see the version is 2003 and the process is starting and then we are going to proceed with the well that technically that's it after this process finish um, the upgrade is done but but again i'm going to you don't have to wait for it so uh, after that the real process starts so this took around four minutes or five so when it's done it says update successfully the computer is going to reset so the computer restarts. Now I'm waiting for it. I see the ASUS logo. Uh, I'm going to see this American Megatrends and it says press F1 to run it up. So I go, I press F1. Now we are back in the BIOS or UEFI BIOS utility. As you can see, um, the upgrade has been successful. I have the BIOS version 3806, which tells me every, everything went as planned so one more thing i'm going to just for you to see is almost the same process as in the last video i'm going to enable virtualization now uh, i'm going to go to advanced and then cpu configuration i click on it i'm going to expand it and i'm going to scroll down until i find what i'm looking for which is intel virtualization technology which as you can see is disabled I'm going to enable it. Um, this is optional if you need it. So I, I'm just showing to you how, how to do it. So I'm going to enable the virtualization 
and that's pretty much it um, I'm going to go down I'm going to go back to the previous screen as you can see we have uh, many other options here be careful when you modify one of these because it can really uh, mess up your computer so when you are done usually you, you just click save and exit yes and that's pretty much it after that Windows comes up again so the login with the login screen well that would be for the video guys thank you for watching again this was a different asus motherboard model and thank you again if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below if you like this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much and i'll see you in the next one